Alright, 6.5 is what we are on now. And 6.5 is the remainder and factor theorem. So I want to give you some examples of this. You're looking at something like this. This is actually something that's not too easy to uh, solve here. So we need to set this up like a division problem. And we're actually going to set it up just like a long division problem is what we're actually going to try to do here. So we're going to take the 5x to the 4th minus 3x squared plus 4. And we're going to write it like a long division problem. And I'm going to put n x squared plus uh, 2 out here. Okay. Now here's the problem. When we go to set this up to do long division, this is what I mean by setting it up, but I'm missing terms. So because I'm missing terms, I need to put zeros in where those terms are. So this is what I mean that we're going to do. We are going to have to do a 5x to the fourth. Okay, there is no x cubed, so 0x cubed. Then we have x squared, which is okay. Then we don't have x. And then we have a positive 4. That is what I'm going to use for long division and then I can put in my x squared plus 2 term. So, basically when we're looking at this, we're looking for something, x squared, right? x squared times something gives me 5x to the fourth. Okay, well, what is that something? Well, the something is x squared times what gives you x to the fourth? Well, that's x squared, right? x squared times x squared would give you x to the fourth, but we also are needing a 5. So, if I take x squared times 5x squared, I would get 5x to the fourth. So, since I need to multiply by an x squared right here, so that's where this is going, right above the x squared, and I put the 5 right there with it. So a 5x squared is what we found my answer to be. So what that means is I need to plug all this in. 5x squared times x squared is 5x to the fourth. 5x squared times uh, 2, right? 5x squared times 2 is a positive 10x squared. So we need to subtract, which means I need to subtract each item. So those cancel out. There is no zero, so that's gone. And this right here, negative 3 minus 10 is negative 13x squared. Okay, and we have to bring down the next term. Well, there is no x to bring down, so I need to bring down the 4. So it's a positive 4. So this is really what I'm looking at right here. So x squared, right, x squared times something gives me negative 13 x squared. That's what I'm thinking about. So x squared times what gives me that? That's what I'm looking for. x squared times what? Well, negative 13 times x squared gives me negative 13 x squared. So since it's a number, right above the number is negative 13. So there it is. There's negative 13. Negative 13 times x squared gives me negative 13 x squared. And negative 13 times 2 is negative 26. So what you do is you subtract it. So that's like taking the opposite and the opposite. So those cancel out and we end up getting 30 left over. So what does that mean? That means I have a 5x squared minus 13, right? I have this remainder of 30. So how do I write that remainder of 30? Well, here's actually what we get for our answer. You get 5x squared minus 13 plus your remainder. Your remainder is 30. But what you do with remainders when you're talking about the division of uh, two equations like this is you take whatever you were dividing by, which was x squared plus 
plus 2 and you write it underneath just like that. So to check your answer basically what we would need to do is you would need to work backwards and multiply this and this together to see if that's what you got for your answer. Um, that would take a lot of time. We can do that if you'd like here to check your answer make sure it works but um, just remember the key is to put that back in the end. Okay, so the key is to put that because that's what you're dividing by and you have a uh, and, um, and you have a remainder. So with this, when we try this one now, we get 6x to the 4th plus no x's cubed uh, plus 20 x's squared plus no x's minus 4. We're dividing all of that by down here x squared plus 3. So we're trying to line up the first terms. x squared times something gives me 6x to the fourth, right? Well, just like the last problem, x squared times x squared works, and x squared times um, the 6 there. So 1 times 6 gives me 6. x squared times x squared gives me x to the 4th. So right above the x squared row here, I put a 6x squared. So 6x squared. 6x squared. So when I multiply those through, right, 6x squared times x squared is 6x to the 4th. 6x squared times 3 is positive 18 x squared, right? 6 times 3 is 18 with an x squared along for the ride. So we subtract, just like long division. Those cancel out. There is no 0. I end up with 2 x's squared. I bring down the next number, which would be a negative 4. So x squared times something, right, gives me 2x squared. Well, that's pretty simple. x squared times something gives me 2x squared. Well, that's just going to be a 2, right? 2 times x squared. So that is a positive 2. That gets in right there, right? A positive 2. So 2 times x squared is 2x's squared. 2 times 3 is positive 6. But remember, we're subtracting. So it's minus, and it's minus. So I subtract those, they're gone. Negative 4 and minus 6, I end up with a negative 10, and negative 10 is my remainder. So once again, how do I rewrite that is the question. How do I rewrite that? Well, remember we had the 6x squared plus 2, right? So I have a 6x squared plus 2. We said that I had a remainder of 10, so plus the negative 10 over the x squared plus 3 is the answer there. That's the remainder of what is left over. Okay, you can still do the division this way. You can. Okay, you can still do the division this way. Uh, but when we come back, there is a little simpler way to do this without long division. And the reason we know we can do it without long division is we can use synthetic division to solve because we don't have any type of x squared there. So when we come back, uh, that's what we will be uh, taking a look at.